On this episode of Mixture Rich, I finally take my childhood best friend Derek up for a fun flight in my Piper Cherokee over Ottawa. Come along for the sights over our capital area countryside and a little bit of introductory flying before coming back to Rockcliffe Airport. Okay, for the last check, uh, we've got uh, engines through the screen. We are landing lights up, fuel pump up. Traffic Lima, Copa, 1500 feet over Jersey. There you go. Climbing 2000 feet in Jersey. Full RPM, close this up here. Full RPMs are developed, rudders are active, RPMs are good, uh, airspeed is alive, engine instruments are green, 60 miles per hour, that's our rotate, and gently get up. Keep it down into ground effect, picked up a little bit of speed first. And a 20 degree out to the right because we have a noise abatement. Instruments are green, so everything's sounding good. Rockcliffe traffic, Foxtrot Bravo Papa Hotel, 1200 feet, uh, circuit uh, out to the west, and uh, we'll be uh, traveling up the uh, west side of the Gatineau River, climbing currently to 1700. That's 1500. Above sea level, lots of boats on the water. Water is really choppy too. Waves. The waters, yeah, some waves on it, yeah. Some the wind. Oh, there's 1,700 feet. Let's level out there. Going north? Yeah, we're going to go north uh, here at the Gatineau River, but we'll stay on the west side of the Gatineau River, which is the uh, procedure. People coming down from the north stay on the east side. We'll see what it's like when we get up to 3,000 feet. If it's bumpy, bumpy, we'll... Practice area traffic, uh, Cherokee, Foxtrot, Bravo, Papa Hotel, 1,700 feet at the Chelsea Dam, west of the Gatineau River and uh, climbing up 3,000 feet. We'll continue up the west uh, bank of the Gatton River to Wakefield. That's Camp Fortune uh, Tower and Camp Fortune Ski Slope. So you're now, we just passed the Chelsea Dam on your right hand side. Yep. So that red circle there over Meech Lake, that's the Prime Minister's um, yeah. So that's a no-fly zone. I think you have to be above. Director of traffic, yeah. uh, Bravo Me Oscar, 2,000 feet, just crossing over uh, the river from uh, Constant Lake to Breckenridge, and then uh, heading back to Ottawa. Yeah, you can actually fly above it because it's only to 2,000 feet. So we'll be coming up on Wakefield. You should be able to see it fairly well. Right there at the bridge. Um, yeah, so there should be Wakefield is like a is like a big U in the river. Yep. Yep. Exactly before the bridge. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Have you been up to Wakefield? It's a nice place. Probably one time. That would have been way in the past. So I'm going to change the heading. Now we're going to go east. So this is a very popular cottage uh, area. It's not somewhere I would buy. I wouldn't live uh, have a cottage in Lake McGregor because it's a lot of power boats and stuff like that. No. Not my speed. So I don't know how hazy it is. Yeah, I could probably. Okay. Tallest mountains off to your one o'clock there in the distance. Is that Saint Hubert? That's uh, uh, no, that's uh, Mont Tremblant. Oh, Laurentians. Yep. And the. If you look in the very, very faint, faint distance in the way, way background there, that's the Adirondacks in New York State. 
All right. You've got control. Oh. So one-handed is best, so that you don't have a death grip. And, uh, yeah. Get a feel for it. So altitude is here. You know it's pitch. You've flown a P-51 before? Not Same. for real. Yeah, but, it's, but the theory is there, right? I mean, you know what the reaction is. If I push down, I go down. What's the other thing that happens if I push down, if I change no other setting? Your airspeed goes up. Exactly. See? You're ready for flight training. That's a nice little lake. It's, it doesn't look so busy down over this side. It's kind of contained. Yeah. The one thing that you don't appreciate is how minuscule the adjustment you need to make. In terms of what? Um, like adjusting the, the yoke yeah. for up and down. Yep. It's very subtle. Left and right. That's why I told you, or just go one-handed and be loose on the controls, even if it's turbulent. You want to be decisive on the controls if you get knocked around like we're being knocked around. Yeah. But you don't want a death grip because all that does is makes your arm numb and you lose you lose feeling for well, what you're doing. You start jerking it. Exactly. Yeah, the last thing you want to do is oscillate. So you kind of go with it and you make corrections as you see fit. All right, how about a gentle right turn going back westbound? Try to maintain your altitude. So in a turn, of course, you're going to lose altitude. So you want to hold back a little bit on your yoke as well. I'll give you a little bit of rudder input here, just because we want to keep. Uh, so that's that's a lot more than gentle. That's a full 45 turn. <laughs> Come back. There you go. A gentle turn is right about here at about 10 to 15 degrees. Oh, okay. Yeah. There you go. Altitude. But keep your eyes outside. So try to try to. Evaluate your turn and your altitude by looking outside and use your instruments as a secondary. That's good. Very good. There we go. We're going back west. Into the wind. Here now into the wind, exactly. A lot more buffeting. Yeah. Yeah. Practice area, traffic Cherokee, Foxshot, Bravo, Papa Hotel, 3,000 feet over the Lake McGregor area and traveling eastbound towards Wakefield. Correction, westbound towards Wakefield. So your altitude, you're up 200 feet and climbing, so you want to get it back down again. Push down. Push down, push down. Oh. Good. Perfect. I'll just try you to... You can really feel the wind pulling you back up. Yeah, yeah you're actually have, you're facing a, a challenging, here's the controls first time. <laughs> So pick a point ahead of you to maintain your, once you know you're on heading, you say, okay, now yeah. I go, uh, I'm pointing at that, I don't know, water body way in the distance, yeah. and I'll just keep going towards it. Then you worry about maintaining your altitude, and maintaining your, your direction. Well, I'm going for that white patch. Straight just, ahead on a yeah. 12 o'clock? Perfect. Now we've lost 200 feet, so you're gonna wanna just pull us back up. We're not doing a great climb, so I'm not adding power. Because obviously if we climb without adding power, we're going to trade the airspeed, but we're nowhere near a stall, right? So. No. Well, we're flying into a headwind, so... Yep. We're now down to a ground speed of 109 miles per hour in the climb. We'll probably pick up a little bit once we level out again. And I'll add a little bit of trim, maybe. That'll help. So, basically, if we were to relax the yoke without any control input, it should hold the altitude which it's not. So we're going to add a, just a little bit of trim. Let it hold. And then we have slightly less corrections to make. Okay, we're doing good. 2300 RPM. Gauges are green. 
we are now five minutes away from a field wiggle changeover. How's it feel? Feels good. I mean, it's uh, the thing that you're trying to, I'm trying to get is the, the body feel. Yep. Yeah, because your body is sending you signals. You have to trust. Obviously, if you're in VFR flight, you have to trust what you see outside the window. You definitely have to trust your instruments as well as a secondary confirmation. Obviously, if you're instrument flying, the only thing you have are your instruments. Yep. The last thing you must rely upon is what your body feels, right? Um, but if you don't have that as the first thing, yes. then so, it's like fly-by-wire and you don't... Yep. The sensation of like climbing, banking. So, yeah, if, um, if, that, if I got you to close your eyes, I could put the aircraft into an attitude and ask you what we're doing and you'll say we're turning and I could yeah. be climbing or I could be yeah. descending and you'll say we're, we're climbing in a turn. I get... So as part of training, when we're under the, um, under the visor, they'll put you into an unusual attitude and just on instruments and say, okay, recover. So he could put us into a, uh, um, a, uh, a diving turn yeah. and based just on instruments, you, you have to get yourself out of it. So it's like, okay, airspeed's increasing. First thing, power's coming out, level the wings, level the aircraft. Okay, watch yeah. what the airspeed's doing and the RPMs, get everything back into check, right? Yep. Hey, you're doing all right, though. Give us a slight left, so let's say heading of uh, two five and watch your altitude. Yeah, they can, the wind off of that, that ridge is like punching the nose up. Yep, so it'll come over, it'll roll. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, just hold this heading, we're good. Uh, we are basically running over Wakefield. Practice area traffic Cherokee, Foxtrot, Bravo, Papa Hotel, 3,000 feet over Wakefield, traveling westbound over the Gatineau Hills to the Ottawa Riverside. All right, we are due for a fuel change. Stop that, start that. Okay, so fuel change is fuel pump up. Fuel pressure is showing stable. I flip over to the right-hand tank. Watch the fuel pressure, and it's remaining stable. Shut, shut off the fuel tank, uh, fuel pr uh, pump, and fuel remains stable. So we are now over to that side, and I'll start the timer again. You okay? You still good? Yep. Okay. Feeling this mountain there. Whoa. Yep. Practice air traffic, Cherokee Foxtrot Bravo Papa Hotel, 3,000 feet, uh, crossing over the Gatineau Hills, uh, just past Wakefield and heading uh, westbound towards the Ottawa River. 3,000. Practice air traffic, Cherokee Golf Alpha Oscar Oscar, we're at 1,500 feet. Uh, we're just coming up on the Constance Bay area. We'll do some harvest there and head up to Buckham Bay. That's the Constance Bay area right there. 1,500 below. No conflict. Let's uh, start making a slight uh, left turn to uh, 210. Very good. Bang on. I feel like I'm a flight instructor. <laughs> this would basically be like a familiarization flight. Wow. This is where we would come out and practice uh, approaches for emergency landings and fields on this side and on the other side over there. All right, let's start a um, following down the river, so roughly south. Yeah, hold this, and once we get closer to the river, then we'll kind of follow the, the shoreline. 
UK. There's Ottawa International down there. Yeah. For these gentle turns, would you just rudder it? No. Rudder is only for counteracting adverse yaw. You can make a, a plane airplane turn left and right with the rudders, but you wouldn't choose to do that. No. If I lost aileron control, then I would try my best to control the plane with the, just the rudder. Yeah. All right, I had to call up uh, Ottawa Terminal here. Ottawa Terminal, Cherokee, Foxshot, Bravo, Papa Hotel, 3,000 feet. Give me control. Bravo, Papa Hotel, Ottawa Terminal, Squawk, Ident, to Nakoda, 4501. Ident, Bravo, Papa Hotel, request. Go ahead. Uh, I'd like to come in for a city tour uh, via Champlain Bridge uh, with a couple of orbits over downtown. Bravo, Papa Hotel, identified Ottawa wall, 2 or 2 proceed to Champlain Bridge, 2000. Proceed, Champlain, 2000, Bravo, Papa Hotel, thanks. Here you Mike, Quebec, fly heading 240. Okay. After taking back control, I fly us back to Rockcliffe Airport. I hope you've enjoyed this flight, and please consider subscribing and do give this video a like. Okay, landing check. This is on, this is on. Strobes up, landing lights, fuel pump up. Master on, primer locked. Strobes up, brake pressure check, landing check's complete. Gauges are green. It's north northwest. Fuel is fine. Perfect. Thank you. Be clear when I'm closer. Yep. Rock of traffic. Foxtrot Bravo Papa Hotel. Overhead the field 1200 to join the mid right downwind 27 full stop. Yeah, it's pretty much down the runway on this side. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It says uh, sometimes there's a bit of a parallax and it's sagging. So I love Rock saggy traffic, wind stock. <laughs> Maybe that should be my uh, YouTube handle. <laughs> Saggy Windsor. Mixture Rich and Saggy Windsor. <laughs> Go on adventures. Rock of traffic, Foxshot, Bravo, Papa Hotel, turning mid right, downwind, 27, full stop. Very happy. A greaser. That's a greaser. <laughs> and the stall light came on just as the wheel touched the ground. I'm like, can't ask for better than that. Hey, get off the runway. Seagull? Yeah, that's it. Piss off. <laughs> that is clear. <laughs> All right, Seagull, clear of 2 7. <laughs> Where'd the music go? Hey, wacko! Bunch of wackos. There's really a bunch of wackos in the sky. <laughs>